All right, folks, we are, I'm not sure how long we've been doing this, but we're on state number probably five or six. We're going to do Colorado today, and we're going to focus on Colorado elk because our whole idea of hunt elk every year, Colorado is one of the critical key states to hunting elk every year. But I want to thank the folks at Go Hunt for making this possible. If you go out to GoHunt.com, sign up for the Insider, use promo code Randy, you're going to get $50 of credit in their gear shop. And when you get done watching this video, you will see why the Go Hunt Insider is so critical for everything I do for all of the states. Not just for elk, but for every species. One thing we've been finding out from these videos is a lot of people don't like to read regulations. Colorado will mail these to you every year once you're in, your, in their system, or you can go online and you can download this from their website, and it's got really important stuff in there. The, the critical parts of what you need to know are gonna be in the strategy article that Go Hunt puts together here. I've pulled up the 2018 elk and antelope strategy article. They're just getting ready to put up the 2019 article. So the other thing that these regulations have, and Go Hunt does the same thing. The first two pages, what's new what's new what's new because for me someone who's been applying in these states forever or even if you've been doing it for a couple of years or maybe you applied five years ago and you're jumping back into it this what's new stuff is really really helpful the very important thing you need to know about colorado is this deadline right here april 2nd don't miss the deadline of april 2nd so we're, we're going to talk about the basics of how the Colorado draw system works. It's pretty easy, actually. Their system has what's called a true preference point system. He or she with the most points gets the tag. So if you've got 10 points and I've got four and we both apply for the same unit, they're going to start filling these non-resident tags starting at the highest point level. So they're going to get to you way at 10 points way before they ever get to me. So there's a very good chance you'll get a tag, but I won't. So the value of having points is really high in Colorado. Some people like these point systems because it allows you to, to with some predictability, say, this is when I'm going to get to go and hunt in Colorado. And here you will see in the insider, in the draw odds, what I think are the best draw odds of any state. I go to Colorado and I say I'm a non-resident and I'm looking at elk and going into the draw this year I've got two points. So uh, choose one, what's my first choice? I'm gonna have two points and right here it starts telling me of all the limited entry hunts here's what my draw odds are with two points. One of the things you'll find in Colorado is there's some pretty darn good hunts that don't require a ton of points. Uh, there, a lot of these limited entry ones, you'll see some of the archery hunts are limited entry. Some of the archery is over the counter. Just about all, I think all the muzzleloader is limited entry. I don't hunt with a muzzleloader, but I think it's all limited entry, so you got to be in the draw. Then they have what they call early rifle, which these are early October. Then they have first rifle which is usually October, what is it this year? October 12th through the 16th. Then they have second rifle, which is October 19th to the 27th. They have third rifle, which this year is November 2nd to the 10th. And then they have fourth rifle, which is November 13th to the 17th. Uh, something change, a big change for this year is what it's gonna cost you to apply. This year you got to buy one of the, they call it qualified licenses, and the one most of us are going to end up having to buy is, the, they call it the non-resident small game, I believe, annual small game, $81.75. Uh, your application fee is $9, and then you also have to buy a habitat stamp. So you add all that together, the other day when I did my Colorado application, it was $101.75. One thing about Colorado, you can look at the draw odds, and you know which units are considered the highest demand. There's some units in the far, far northwest corner. 
there's this, uh, you know I lucked out and I drew this unit unit 61 drew that in 2016 it took me 19 points to draw a third season tag well what you see in Colorado is a thing called point creep uh, and what it is is every year you think you're getting closer to drawing the tag well what's happening is all these guys on the sideline who are just buying points buying points buying points they get out there and they look at it and they say hmm I think I can get that tag this year. So they jump in the game and actually apply instead of buy points. So now it starts taking even more and more points. And so you're gaining a point every year, but sometimes it takes two or three points higher to draw that tag than it did in the previous year. So you, the point distance between where you're at and how close you're getting to the tag just keeps creeping away from you. So that's what you'll hear it a lot in Colorado called point creep. You can use this filtering 2.0 in the Insider to kind of pick and choose what you want for a hunt. Uh, Colorado, you're, you know, a lot of people don't look at Colorado as a trophy elk state. There are places you'll see up here in the far northwest part, these really high demand units right up here on the Utah-Wyoming border. Uh, there's some really, really good elk there. Uh, down here, there's some big private ranches that have some really good elk. Any elk's a good elk. I, I don't get too worked up about that stuff. Now here's some really helpful stuff when you're doing your research. Uh, it shows you what the bull to cow ratios are in these units. To me, I get very, very interested in bull to cow ratios and high percentage of public land. So the, the insider has so much of this stuff in there. And here it talks about how many points, this was for 2018, they'll update it for 2019, how many non-residents were at what point level? Whew. Here I am, I'm at two points. Boy, there's a lot of non-residents with the same amount of points I have. I'm way at the back of the line. If I had one piece of advice for people who have, they're just starting in Colorado, I would say put Colorado on your short and midterm plan. Because what, what it takes as far as an investment of time and money to go from a just pretty average unit, a fun hunt in Colorado, to one of their absolute premiums. You're going to be in it right now, 25 years with point creep. By the time you get out there, it might be 35 years. Just burn those points every two to five years and just go and have a good time. And if you can, if you've got deer points also, combine it with a deer tag. There are some unbelievable mule deer hunts that go on at the same time as the elk hunts. In fact, if I had a really good deer tag in some of the better deer units, they're over-the-counter elk units, I'd be buying myself one of those over-the-counter elk tags to have in my pocket in case I stumble across a bull when I'm out there deer hunting. So remember, don't miss the deadline April 2nd. In Colorado, if you miss it, it's just... You know, you, you don't, there, there's no mulligan. You know, there's no way around it. You've, you've missed your, your chance for that year. April 2nd is the date. Go out to the Insider. Go to GoHunt.com. Use promo code Randy. Save yourself or at least get $50 of store credit in their gear shop. So there you have it, people. I don't know where, where you're going to find a state that's more friendly to the non-resident elk hunter than Colorado. They welcome you with open arms. When you go to Colorado, it's one of those places you'll see every little hardware store, every restaurant. Hunters welcome. Welcome hunters. Hunters, come here. I love that. It's cool. And go download the regulations. Those are always a great place to start. Go sign up for the Insider. Get yourself a tag. Go to Colorado. Shoot an elk. Thanks for watching.